Welcome to Turnkey. Here's a quick guide that's going to walk you through setting up your account, installing cancel flows, and our failed payment recovery solution if you're interested in doing that too. First up, simply go here, create your account. Once that's filled out, you can simply go ahead and say you're ready to do this on your own because we're going to walk you through how to do that now. And now quickly you can integrate your payment processor. This is going to allow you to connect and set up the rest of your flow. So if you're using Stripe, click Connect Stripe. Now for the next part, if you have access to Stripe and you're able to give us access to connect, then you can go ahead and click this button here. If you don't have access to that, you can simply request an admin's help. And this would be whoever on your team manages your Stripe account. Add their name here and their email address, give them privileges and send this invite. That's gonna give them the opportunity to go in and set that up. So I'll show you how that looks. Go here and they will log in, they'll create their account and then they'll just connect the billing provider here. You can connect to live mode or test mode. Test mode for just testing, live mode when you're ready to actually pull in your live data. So real quick, let's set up our first cancel flow. Simply pick a, a template here. If you're a B2C business, this one's gonna be perfect for your purposes. Let's go ahead and set up our pause. Let's do a two month maximum pause. It works very well. We're gonna have some sample survey responses here. These are gonna be really important because they're gonna help drive a customer's churn intent to an offer that you're gonna set up later. We'll remove other. Four to five is the best. Sometimes I recommend removing other when you're first getting started. You can require the follow-up responses if you wanna do that and you can randomize the order. Freeform feedback is also something I recommend enabling. You can require it and have a minimum character length if you want. And then I always recommend enabling the cancellation confirmation step because a lot of customers will get to this, they'll abandon the cancel flow and decide not to. Next up, we're gonna add some offers. The offers are going to map to each of those answers we added in the survey above. The goal here is we're trying to anticipate the churn intent and give somebody a reason or an offer to stay. If somebody cites budget, obviously the best thing you can do is give them a coupon. 30 to 40% off for a couple of months tends to work best and that's a good place to start. Once you've connected your production Stripe account, you'll also notice that this dropdown here is going to be populated with all of the different coupons that you've currently set up in Stripe. No longer needed, you could use a pause here. And then technical issues, sometimes you might want somebody to chat with your support. We can integrate directly with Intercom or your help desk software. Send a custom page can also be helpful if there's like a docs page or something like that. Same thing holds true for missing features. Sometimes that can be helpful to contact us or send to a custom page because they may not realize that you actually have those features. Once you've done that, you can push the changes and you're almost live. The last thing you have to do here is go to the embed code. We have a very quick and easy three-step process to installing simply add an embed code here. This is going to pull in the turnkey library. Your developers will want to add this server-side security check to make sure we have authorization to perform these actions on your behalf. And then the last step is actually hooking up turnkey to your cancel button. This will trigger the turnkey flow to launch. That's really all there is to it. One other thing I'll point out here is our docs page, docs.turnkey.co. We have a lot of these different options, customizations, capabilities that can make it really easy to do pretty much whatever you want here. And along this right-hand side here, you can really drill down into some of, some of the custom capabilities that we support. Next thing you'll wanna do, if you are interested in failed payment recovery, we make it very easy to set this up as well. You'd simply go here. It's gonna pre-populate a really great campaign, five emails to start off with. We recommend doing a few things here. First, you wanna stagger the name. So have maybe two or three different names and it would go from you know Nick to Bob, to Robert, Nick again, and somebody else. That has, ensures the highest open rate. You can do all sorts of things here too, like enabling payment auto retries. You can have different sender names as I just mentioned and sender email addresses. You can customize the copy. And one thing to note too, on the final emails in the flow, when somebody is procrastinating on updating the card, you don't want them to cancel. So entice them with a coupon to go ahead and update their card right away. Last thing here, all you need to do is update your DNS. There are two settings here that are important you're going to add your checkout domain. So this is gonna be a custom checkout page. Turnkey will host this for you. It'll be very easy, mobile friendly, looks really great. Add a checkout domain here. It's always gonna be something like billing.domain.com. So you'll use a subdomain like billing. If you're already using billing for something else, you could do payments, something like that. It's gonna ensure that you have that brand integrity. So when somebody clicks the cancel flow, they're gonna be, still be on your domain name and we handle all the redirects and everything like that for you and then check out page settings. You'll add a redirect. So after somebody successfully updates their card, this will redirect them to whatever page on your site you wanna send them to. And then for the fallback, I just recommend using your company name here and we'll host that as a fallback should anything happen with your DNS. Last thing, we need to be able to send emails on behalf from your email address. 
and it will only be these campaign emails. So you'd simply add the domain name. So if you, if your company is called acme.com, this would allow us to send things from Bob at acme.com from Sally at acme.com. You get the idea there. Simply click add sender domain. And this is going to populate the DNS entries that you'll just need to update your DNS on. Once you've updated your DNS for both of these, you'll have a little banner up here and it will give you the option to take your Dunning campaign live. As soon as you click that, we'll start to kick off recovery for each of those failed payments and we'll start saving failed payments on day one.